All right, everyone, this is my gear check for the Great Divide 2012. First, one pair of bike shorts, canary, one pair of boxers, two pair of athletic slash bathing suit shorts. These will be used for off the bike, showering, swimming, something lightweight, folds up really good. Uh, one long sleeve shirt, Mountain Hardware. Again, lightweight, has little uh, vents on it, as you can kind of see right through there. Uh, good for keeping the sun off if it's cold, uh, for bugs. Then I'll have actually two dry fit shirts, Under Armour style or Nike dry fit, whatever. One long sleeve dry fit shirt, good for mornings that are a little cool, that you don't want to wear a jacket, something to pull over real quick. Also at night at camp, there's mosquitoes and whatnot. Then we have the long sleeve Under Armour top uh, for when it's cold. Very good, lightweight, folds up good. Then same thing for the bottoms, the Under Armour heat gear, the tights, compression tights here. Uh, one pair of windbreaker pants. Good for wearing around camp, mosquitoes, those type things. One pair of rain pants. Hopefully won't need these too much. The Universal Columbia jacket here. Uh, this thing's good. It's a rain jacket, completely waterproof. Uh, doesn't breathe well, so works out good when it's cold. Doesn't let anything in or out. Uh, road ID, just some basic emergency info. Washcloth for uh, if I need to wipe off at the end of the day with a little bit of water and there's not a good water source but I have some in reserves. Again, just use this real quick. Uh, at least get some of the sunscreen off. Uh, bandana, again, good for if you have to filter water, if you have to wear it around your face like the Wild Wild West style, the bank robber. Uh, in the cold mornings, keep some of that cold air off your nose and face while you're riding. Uh, if it's sandy out in some of the desert areas, good to keep sand out of your face. Columbia, brim hat, whatever you want to call it. I think it's a boonie boonie or something is the name. Good for sun, lightweight, real breathable. Uh, mosquito head, head, nest, head net, not nest. Uh, again, a lot of mosquitoes are going to be in the back country, uh, especially in Montana as we found last year. So again, a little mosquito head. Had netting to wear. All right, uh, these are some typical cheap, like $2 plastic uh, cleaning gloves. These are uh, mainly gonna be for if it's raining and I need to ride. So that way, again, I'm not getting uh, my hands soaked. Also, if it's very cold out, I can put these on. Very lightweight, cheap. Uh, didn't wanna drop a lot of money on something I may not need too much. Again, it's gonna be summertime. Then these are a pair of black garden gloves. Gone for a dollar at Walmart. Good for, uh, again, if it's cool in the mornings and you're riding, keep your hands a little bit warm. Uh, again, if they do get wet, uh, it can be an issue. Again, that's why I've got these gloves, the, my waterproof gloves right here. Then uh, one Nike beanie uh, cap to wear when it's cold out camp or while riding, cover your ears and head. Definitely helps a lot to keep the head warm. All right, here's the electronics I'm taking. I got the, which I'm filming with, the GoPro uh, camera. So I'm taking uh, its little charger and cable for the computer. My digital camera, Olympus Tough Series. Shockproof, waterproof, all that good stuff. Uh, cell phone charger. I'm taking, the biggest thing is going to be my MacBook to do all the journals and video storage pictures stored on there and it's a uh, little uh, charger there. All right, <clears throat> this is uh, pretty much the camping equipment that I'll be taking. Got my uh, Osprey Daypack Talon 22. Has a three liter uh, hydration platter in there. I'll have, got a little safety whistle, mainly when you get in the bear country has a little compass on it as well. A uh, little first aid kit that I put together. If you go online, they sell the ultralight kits and they even show what they include. So you can just 
go off that and uh, make your own little kit put a little bag good to go uh, I got my Big Agnes Air Core sleeping pad Big Agnes uh, Fly Creek uh, Ultralight 2 tent uh, all of my sleeping bag in this event uh, compression stuff sack got about five foot of Tyvek wrap uh, for my footprint very lightweight very durable I uh, got a camp chair it's a crazy creek hexalite uh, towel is just a chamois absorber got for about 10 bucks at Walmart uh, water filter uh, the MSR EX mini works then got a pair of uh, bite gloves, deodorant, thing of bug spray. Again, the mosquitoes are horrible, especially in like Wyoming and Montana. Uh, diaper cream, Destin, uh, it's five bucks, good for saddle sores. Uh, it's a lot cheaper than buying the actual stuff specifically for saddle sores. So again, let's get some diaper rash ointment. No add sunscreen, 60, stuff's like car wax. Chapstick, SPF 50, again, being out in the sun all day. A uh, little travel set of nail clippers. Got my uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, a little bit of floss. Got a spork. A little cheap knife in case I need that. This will be for my soap. So when I do take little showers, I'll fill this little Listerine bottle. It's three ounces. Filled up with some soap. Uh, anywhere that you can get soap out of a store, at you know, in the bathrooms and whatnot, just fill it up. Uh, a couple of batteries for my headlight and uh, blinking light on the back. Got some zip ties. I'll take a few of these. And then also have some Gorilla Tape. Uh, 